All right, so I created this beautiful splash bow deck with the poison, the firecracker, dark prince, bomber, fire spirit, and then furnace. I threw an expo and log to make it just like a decent expo deck, and we're gonna hop into some top ladder games and see if we can catch some wins. Let's go. Up against Vera here in this first game, but anyways, we got the furnace in the starting hand. Gonna drop this off, but I wanted to talk about. Um, I was on Twitter this morning and I saw that Clash Royale posted like a little sneak peek thing for the June update, which is going to be something to do with card evolutions and uh, i mean i'm kind of excited to know what that means but i just hope it doesn't like actually change every single card in the game or that would be a little bit a uh, little bit cancer i'm not gonna lie but i mean we'll see probably like as the month of may as it gets later into the month of may they're gonna release more and more sneak peeks like that but it looks like this guy has eye drag fireball um i'm just gonna go for my fire spirit to help kill this eye drag yeah, but looks like he's playing like a bridge spam deck with Ram Rider, Lumberjack as well. We're just going to go log on top of that, clean that up. Um, it's going to be pretty difficult to defend um, these pushes, especially if he's playing the version with the Monk. Really bad goblins by him. Just going to get... Ah, uh, okay. Good Magic Archer. Um, I could go Expo here, but I am kind of worried that he has Monk, so I'm going to be kind of patient. Just see what he wants to do for this Bomber. I guess he's just going to ignore, so we're going to go Firecracker in the back once again. He's going to go Ram Rider. Okay, we can cycle a Dark Prince. Um, it's actually semi-easy semi to defend this without using my uh, Furnace here. I just need to go for a Log last second. And he doesn't have his Magic Archer back in cycle. Okay, there's the Monk. Crap. Okay, so he doesn't know we have Expo. So if I can catch him like without Monk in cycle, then maybe I can actually get a connection. But I'm going to set up another Furnace here. I'm going to play it low so he can't snipe with a Magic Archer this time. And we know his Ram is out of cycle, so I don't have to worry about that. He's going to go Fireball on top of... Ooh, okay, I can punish this here, I think. I'm going to start up a Firecracker in the back. And then go for the Offensive Expo now. He doesn't have Monk in cycle. Um, goes Lumberjack. We'll go Dark Prince immediately. And then just Fire Spirits on top of this um, Barbarian. And can we defend this? I'm not really sure. I'm going to go for the Log last second. Now he's already back to a Monk, which is a little bit crazy. I'm going to go for a Bomber up high, force out the Monk ability from him. And then after he uses this, I'm going to go for the Firecracker right now. So it shouldn't actually kill the Firecracker, hopefully, is what I'm, is what I'm trying to do. Okay, nice. Um, he's going to go Magic Archer in the back. Definitely going to just Dark... Mm, okay, I'm going to Dark Prince here and then go for a Log on top of this. Fire Spirit to make sure the... Wow, okay, I guess that did not work out at all. Um, it's fine, I'm just going to reset in the back, cycle a Firecracker. I'm going to start stacking some Furnaces or something, I'm not really sure. But I'm going to go for Offensive Expo just to keep the pressure on. Um, poison right away, because he's going to Monk, obviously. And I need to kill this Magic Archer no matter what in this situation. So, Firecracker shoots itself there, love to see that. Um, he still needs to play something else, so I'm just going to cycle, yeah, okay, Dark Prince in the back. Should work out pretty well. Um, Fire Spirit just to make sure that Lumberjack doesn't go on my tower. And then we can just go for another offensive expo here. Force out a Ram Rider from him. Um, gonna go for just a poison on the river and log last second. Maybe we get a connection. Um, yeah, we actually are. I'm gonna go Bomber. Kind of a bad Bomber. A little bit late too. So didn't do anything that I wanted it to do. But we do get some decent chip. This is gonna be a very close match. I can already tell. So I'm just gonna keep setting up these furnaces in the middle. I think it's important that I try and control. Yep, okay, Dark Prince immediately... I should have put that one more tile to the right, so that didn't get a hit on my furnace, but that was my bad. I'm just going to Firecracker to help kill this Lumberjack immediately. He's going to Ram Rider to the back. Okay, I'm just going to cycle my Log. Bomber in the back here. Furnace might actually die before the Ram Rider gets there, but hopefully if I have enough DPS to kill the Ram Rider. Um, yeah, we do. So I'm just going to cycle yet another Furnace here, and then... Go for a poison on top of all this. I think that's just too much value. Also, the firecracker can snipe this inferno dragon, so that's gonna be huge here. Um, he pops the monk ability. Wait, that's not even that's not even gonna reflect the firecracker at all. So I just need to go for a dark prince over here. Fire spirit up high. Cycle my log on top of this ram rider, and then go for a firecracker low. Oh no. Um, okay, got an offensive expo. Pull this um, monk over to the right side so the expo like doesn't target it at all and i can just go for a log furnace up high to protect furnace is going to splash into the ram rider actually save my expo hp gotta go dark prince oh no um okay magic archer is dead we need to go for something okay i gotta log this lumberjack so i don't lose lose the game here okay um i'm panicking i can't lie gonna go furnace in the middle 10 seconds left okay okay if i just go for the poison on tower now 
there's no way this Ram Rider gets to my tower, right? I'm just gonna go for Bomber and Log on top of that. No! Okay! Um, we're alive, we win. Let's go. I thought the Magic Archer lineup was gonna hit, but the Monk luckily pushed it. He's laughing. Oh, come on, bro. You just lost with a pretty decent matchup, I would say. But yeah, first game with this deck definitely lived up to the standards. That was kind of crazy. Uh, we'll take that win. Nice. All right, we don't get the Furnace in the starting hand this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop off a Bomber in the back. I think with this deck, you want to... Okay, yeah, he plays the bar barrel to the side. Everybody thinks that I'm playing ISO on ladder, so they always are worried about the NATO. Uh, I'm just going to Fire Spirit the River. Kind of a weird deck that he has so far with the Ghosts, Spear Goblins, and also the Barrel. I guess it's probably going to be some variation of a bait deck. But yeah, with this deck, I like to play very aggressively. Um, cycle my Furnace in the middle all the time. Like, pretty much any time you have it, unless you're going up against an Earthquake deck, you just want to play it. Because um, it's going to get you... Spawners in general are going to get you a decent amount of value in most matchups. There's going to be a few matchups where they don't do anything. Um, and that's just kind of the luck of Clash Royale, like what matchups you get. Um, okay, let's see. I'm honestly just going to Expo since I have a Firecracker full each, or like alive on the board. He goes for Mighty Miner. Okay. I'm um, also going to go Ghost. Can I get a Dark Prince down in time? I think I can. No, I can't. Okay. Um, my Expo is going to take out that Princess and then connect the Tower. I'm going to go Fire Spirits. Dark Prince is hitting tower. Okay, we're cooking right now. Um, Fire Spirit's gonna get on tower. Bomber kills the Spear Goblins. Oh my gosh, just like that, guys. We pretty much... I'm, win I'm not gonna say won the game because I don't want to jinx it, but we definitely have a very, very good start here. Um, I'm just gonna set up another Furnace in the middle. Also, I wanted to say um, next week, or in like a week from now, or like, like eight days or something, is my birthday, and I wanted to try and do a birthday stream um but i don't really have the equipment to stream right now i need to go out and get some i just want to know like if i did a birthday stream would it be like would that does that sound like a hype idea to people because i feel like maybe doing like a three hour stream or something would be pretty epic but obviously i've never done a stream before so i'd be kind of a noob at it um i do want to try it out but i'd need to buy a piece of equipment that lets me connect my phone to my computer so I can like mirror the gameplay um and I don't have that yet but definitely can be obtained if I need to get it um but yeah anyways we're kind of just controlling this match when you when you go for a second furnace that's kind of how you know you're just like dominating um because they don't have a spell to kill it he's gonna spam the spear goblins in the left we'll just fire spirits late um also did they buff the spear goblins Okay, that was a really good log because it's going to hit everything. Oh, that timing on the barrel was actually kind of nasty. I don't know if you guys saw that. I should have predicted Dark Prince. I kind of fell asleep after I hit that timing. Um, just going to go Dark Prince up high. Bomber in the back. Fire Spirit to help out with the barrel. Okay, never mind. I don't even need that. Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was just saying two seconds ago. But anyways, we have a lot of stuff on the board right now. Looking decent. Um, nothing for this ghost, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I can get a Dark Prince down, I think. Nice. Kind of clutch right there. Just going to poison this princess immediately. Keep the chip damage going. He goes for a good, well-timed, pretty well-timed goblin gang. He's got to defend that firecracker still. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm just going to cycle fire spirit in the back. That's to the side, so I don't need to do anything, which is so nice for me. Um, just going to go for another, yeah, another furnace in the middle. Have my dark prince. Okay. I thought that was a princess. That's why I did that, guys. Um... Okay, okay, I gotta try to defend this without my Dark Prince, which is gonna be a little difficult. I'm just gonna go Fire Spirit in the middle, log for this barrel, and then um, we'll go with another Furnace in the middle here. Okay, wh wait, 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 no, 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 you guys saw that, right? The, the Firecracker was literally targeted on the Princess, and then it turned last second. Like, what? Firecracker actually trying to sell my bread. I have nothing for this ghost. Oh, no. Um, okay, let's not choke this game, please. That would be great. I'm just gonna go for an offensive expo now and then we'll go dark prince on zero to support this please okay still can't get the dark prince down in time unfortunately you need to go fire spirit up high for this gang um okay okay you gotta log these rascals for sure go for a second firecracker to kill these spear goblins and now we're kind of cooking dark prince last second to push that off um uh, man are we cooking i don't know i'm gonna go for a second expo here in the middle i gotta start playing super super aggressively um let's see we'll go for a bomber a log on top of this, and then Firecracker Poison on the Rascal Girls. As long as I don't take any damage, I think I should be okay, but I need to cycle back to another 
log. Okay, we barely got back to that in time. He's probably gonna go for yet another barrel. So I gotta start cycling like crazy. I'm um, gonna go for offensive expo because he needs to, re needs to respond to this left side. Oh, he played so much elixir right there. Yep, we're gonna get the expo connection. I had a feeling we would because he literally dropped off like 50 elixir on the left for some reason. Whew, that was a sweaty game. Another really close one. Um, I say we had control most of that time though, but it got a little sketch. So far, so good. We're having good success. Um, once again, we don't have Furnace in starting hand. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? I'm actually happy that we're playing a stupid Goblin Hut spawner because I finally have a poison. Whenever I'm playing Ice Bow, I just freaking can never kill these huts, and they start pissing me off. I'm just going to go for a log on top of these goblins. Okay, he's playing the meta deck, the stupid rascals one. All right, we got to beat this guy, and then I should be him, but, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'll be him. We'll see if he plays super annoyingly or not. Um, but anyway, he's just going to go for a Dark Prince in the very back here. Cycle a Fire Spirit up high just to pull back this. Oh my gosh, that's over there. Um, the Skeleton King, and now he doesn't have Skeleton King or Poison in Cycle. Hold up, hold up. We might be able to do something here. Um, obviously, he's going to Rascals. Dark Prince charges. Did we just win? Okay, maybe we didn't just win, but... Yeah, we definitely didn't just win, but I'll take that. Um, really bad goblins by him too. I can just go fire spirit to kill all of this. Oh, perfect defense right there. Okay, nice. So we're going to get a thousand damage lead in single, which is definitely the only way I'm ever going to get an expo lock on in my entire life. Um, so I don't know. I, I know we have the lead right now, but I'm not really feeling too great about this matchup in general. I'm just going to cycle a furnace. I need to stay a little bit aggressive in single here. Um, okay. Yeah, definitely going to poison this right away. Don't know why he gave me a poison that free. Um, also, he's going to have to respond to this hut, or this spawner more, because this hut's dead. Um, so I'm interested to see what he plays for this. He's going to go Skelly King in the in the back. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm just going to get a bomber down early here. Wow. That is very, very aggressive. I'm just going to Fire Spirit back, and then we'll go for a, lo uh, like a late time log here to clean up the rest of this. And he's going to have to respond to this Dark Prince. I feel like he overcommitted on that push, but I mean, I don't really know. Um, he is going to go for the Rascals. I guess I'll just poison this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. I'm kind of regretting what I just did, but, you know, decisions, decisions are decisions. That is life. You know, you can't always make the right one. But all you can do is try your best to make the right one. Because um, at the end of the day, there's like thousands of decisions you make every single day. And, you know, you can't be perfect. So I'm going to go Bomber to the side right here. And let's see, just going to cycle a furnace in the back left. See if I can build up a push on this right side if he, if he uh, poisons this furnace. Um, even if he doesn't, I'm just going to go expo on the right. Okay, okay. Um, so I need to go for a log here. Yeah, we get the connection on the right side, which is good. Going to go bomber just to help prevent as much graveyard damage as I can. Um, still getting a lot of chip damage with that expo right there. Um, I'm just going to go dark prince in the back and then go for another expo at the river. Keep the pressure on because he has to respond. To both sides here, um, look at the left side, guys. We're getting chip damage from the bomber. Oh, yeah, we are cooking right now. Um, he has to respond to that as well. I can just log the Rascal Girls ASAP and then go for a Fire Spirit right here to help DPS down all of this. We get the Expo connection. Oh, my gosh, wait, the left side's at 1,200, but I want to stay in this right lane since, obviously, I have more HP on my right side tower than my left. Um, he's going to go Hut. Just going to let this happen for a second here and then go for a dark print. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to Rascals. Uh, I can actually Firecracker and it will jump away from this Phoenix. Oh, that play was actually a little bit dirty. Ooh. All right, come on. Give me some credit for that, guys. Um, like, who knows their fire uh, Firecracker interactions like me? Like, nobody does. Um, I'm just kidding. I never play this card, but it is a fun card to play, to be honest. And honestly, we just wrecked that meta deck, so that feels good. I'm really digging this guy's clan name right now. I'm just going to cycle a bomber in the back. I'm assuming he's not playing the Goblin Hut, if that's his clan name. If he is, I'm going to roast the absolute heck out of him. So, I'm just going to go for a log. I'm guessing he's playing some kind of bait deck, or like maybe a hog cycle deck. Um, he's going to go Mighty Miner in the, in the middle, so I'm just going to Firecracker. Yeah, okay, it is going to be a bait deck. We'll go for a Fire Spirit since he played that to the side. I don't need to um, like do anything else. I can just go for a bomber. To fully counter this Mighty Miner, I don't really mind if he gets the King Tower activation, because obviously we're playing Expo, and it's not going to change the outcome of the game much. Um, let's see. I'm just going to cycle a Furnace in the back, and see what he wants to do. He's going to play his Log on top of the Bomber. Okay, so Ice Spirit to counter two sets of the, two sets of the Fire Spirits. 
Um, we still need something else though. I can just cycle a log on top of this princess. Um, princess is going to be a little bit annoying, but as long as I can prevent it from just getting like infinite value, we should be fine. Firecracker for me is going to get a lot of value since he doesn't have a good spell to take it out. Um, I'm just going to go for a Dark Prince and then Fire Spirit to help kill this barrel. Kind of a bad um, Mighty Miner ability by him, I'm not going to lie. He also just played... He's got a... Wait, wait, wait. I think he just... Did he just lose? No, he has a rocket. Okay. Um, oh, that Ice Spirit is late though, so Dark Prince is going to get on tower. I have my Bomber ready if he wants to Princess the River. Um... Okay, that's a really good connection because this is, it's going to be pretty difficult for me to lock on like with an expo since he does have plenty of cycle cards and rocket. I'm um, just going to cycle fire spirits in the middle or fire fire spawn fire spirit spawner aka the furnace um in the middle. Um, I'm just going to go for dark prince in the back here. Keep the pressure on him. Don't want to get him comfortable like into a cycle. I'm going to go firecracker. Might get a little bit of chip damage from this. I'm not sure. Um, looks like we are going to get like 200 damage, which is kind of clutch. I'll go for another... Actually, I'm going to go Fire Spirit here and then just go for Offensive Expo. Tank a couple hits from the Goblin Barrel. Um, we should get a little... Nah, okay. I was going to say we get a little bit of damage. I guess we get one Expo tick, but not as much as I was hoping for. Could poison this cannon, but eh. Don't really, not really a big fan of poisoning the cannon because then he's going to get Princess value on me. Um, let's see. I'll just go for a Dark Prince in the back. He goes Princess. Okay, I'm probably going to log this right away. Okay, never mind. Um, actually, the Dark Prince is going to kill that barrel. That was a terrible barrel by him. If you guys didn't know, if you um, if the Dark Prince charges into a Goblin Barrel, it takes it out fully. And yeah, you don't have to worry about defending it. So he's probably going to rocket this. Yeah. And then I'm just going to set up a Furnace again in the back. Cycle of Fire Spirit in the opposite lane, so he has to defend both sides now. Um, good Ice Spirit by him. I have my log back in cycle for this barrel, so yeah, our cycle is very, very good against bait right now. Um, like, everything that I need to defend, I have. I'm just gonna go Dark Prince in the middle, then uh, I don't think that bomber reaches. I should have played it one more tile to the inside, and it would have reached, but it doesn't matter since he pops the ability, and then kind of, uh... Alright, gonna go for a log on top of this. Oh, really good princess by him, actually. That was perfect timing. But, I mean, what is the point of just getting one shot on tower? I mean, I don't really see what that's going to do for him. I'm just going to go for a bomber to counter this mighty miner. Oh, he's going to try and defend without the freaking uh, rocket. Okay, going to firecracker prediction this cannon. Dang it, I wish I had some kind of tank in cycle, because obviously he was going to cannon, but I just didn't have anything. Um, going to go furnace in the middle. Now we have a full health furnace on the board going into triple. Okay, he, he gives us a poison as well on the princess. Um, oh, wow, he goes for a rocket on my tower. He's getting wrecked by the fire spirits on the left side, though. I'm just going to cycle. Okay, good prediction by him, but I should be able to protect this if I get a bomber down. And that's going to be GG's. There's no way he can win this at this point in the game. Uh, I'm going to cycle a Dark Prince. What in the world was that princess? That's going to be GG's. Yep, even if he would have rocketed there, he's going to give up. Even if he would have rocketed, I had the second expo going down in the middle. And, man, this deck just is, is so much pressure throughout the entire game. I would just kind of hate to go up against myself right now. Going to go for one more game here against Goat Hard Joe. Um, cycle a log on top of this wall breaker. And, okay, he's probably playing a Wallbreaker Cycle deck. Oh, man, I hate this this version. It's so frustrating to go up against. Because um, they just sit here and they just play so aggressively the entire match. I'm going to cycle a Bomber in the very back. Hopefully it should fully counter this Magic Archer. I think this placement is perfect. Hopefully I'm not wrong and don't look like an idiot here, but I think I timed it right. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. So he's going to go ahead and... Okay, uh, I'm probably going to go Wallbreakers behind this. Yeah, they always do. Um, I can go for a log just to make sure my furnace takes out both these wall breakers. Um, okay, I, okay, yep, it did. It ended up doing exactly what I wanted, but didn't look like it was going to. Um, we'll just cycle a firecracker in the very back. It's going to be tough to break through this deck since he has such a fast cycle, but man, okay, I'm actually just going to go for a bomber in the back. I kind of was super undecisive right there. Um, I should have just played bomber on top of the spear goblins, but it's fine. I'll just cycle dark prince. And then we're going to go in on with an offensive expo here, since I do have the Dark Prince charging down the lane. Um, he'll bomb tower the middle, probably. Yeah. Okay, how do I do... How do I break through? Um, I'm just going to cycle Fire Spirit's log to kill these wall breakers. Bomber prediction. Okay, we're cooking. Um, 
Should get a connection here. He's going to just go for a log, though. Man, that's such a sad feeling when you get, like, you worked really hard to get a good connection, and then they just cycle a log, and it kills the entire thing. Um, I mean, I guess we got some de decent damage, but definitely not going to be able to get that very consistently. Just going to go for a furnace in the right side, force something out of him. Um, he's going to magic archer, just going to poison immediately, get that off the board, and prevent as much value as possible there. Um, got my log ready if he wants to go with the minor wall breakers. We'll see, though. Um, okay, Firecracker in the middle is going to be pretty nice here. He's going to try and predict it with the Bomb Tower, so I'm going to Dark Prince. Nice, we just predicted him. Um, hopefully, nah, I guess it didn't really matter, but it's fine. Just going to go for a Furnace in the middle once again. Go for a Bomber to help kill these Wall Breakers. Hopefully, they don't, they don't hit my Furnace, um, and they both hit my Furnace. Let's go. Bomber takes out the Miner, though. That's good for me. I feel like Bomber's a clunky card sometimes, and it just kind of is unpredictable. Um, alright, so we're gonna poison log this magic archer right away so he doesn't get any value from this. Um, oh, he wastes a NATO, doesn't even get a single magic archer shot. Okay, that's really, really good for me. We can just set up another furnace, kind of reset in the back here. This matchup is pretty difficult, I can't lie. Um, but we're chilling right now. Just gonna go for an offensive... Actually, man, that stupid spear goblin is 1 HP. Gotta go for a fire spirit on top of... Oh, I thought that wall breaker was going to connect. I was actually about to rage quit the game. I'm um, going to go Dark Prince just to help kill the Knight over here. And then just poison this Bomb Tower as well as the Magic Archer. Bomber to catch the Miner, but I didn't really think he'd go for the uh, wall breakers as well. Okay, we're still up a couple hundred, but I'm not really confident about my, uh, the lead in this game right now. Just going to go for another Furnace in the very back. Um, he goes Magic Archer right away. Not really sure about that one. Gonna go Dark Prince on top of this Knight, because he's gonna Wall Breakers probably. Yep, then we can just go for a Log. Should kill all of this. Really nice defense. Oh, wait, we're actually taking more damage on the right side than I thought. He has to respond to Dark Prince on the left. Okay, he's just gonna let it connect. Um, he's gonna go Knight to tank for this, obviously. And then we're gonna need to figure out something to break through here. I'm gonna go Firecracker right away. Maybe get something going. He's gonna Miner, though. Dang, I can't catch a Miner to save my life. It's kind of annoying. And once again, the log's going to finish off the expo. Kind of depressing. We do get some good chip, though. Oh, I'm going into triple. Okay. Um, Got to get a furnace just to tank for these wall breakers. Dark prints in the back. Of course I can't catch the stupid miner. Um, Going to go bomber. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. The freaking knight got a hit on my tower. Okay. Got to go fire spirit and then just go for an offensive expo here. Wow, that was so aggressive. Um, bomber up high. Help DPS down. Go for a log on top of the magic archer. Firecracker in the back. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, wait. We might get a connection. No, we're not. Um, 20 seconds left. I have to be so aggressive here. Just going to go for a bomber to kill these wall breakers, I hope. Dark Prince in the middle. Okay, pretty aggressive magic archer by him, but it's probably not going to matter. Only 15 seconds left. We need to play a second expo here. Try and get something going. Um, bomber in the middle to kill the spear goblins. <gasps> wait. No, did you guys see that? Yes! Wait, I think we won. We won. GG's. Oh my gosh. That The bomber killed the Spear Goblins like a millisecond before that knight got placed. Oh my goodness. What a game. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.